Okay, so let's talk a little bit about water heaters. Okay. So you've got, we obviously, there are two types. All There's right. electric and gas. Correct. And so tell me a little bit about how you need to make sure you, you have good water heater habits. Okay, good water heater habits. <laughs> Say right that after three you times floss, fast. yeah. Well, <laughs> you I, floss your I'll, water heater regularly. All right. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, uh, Paul, I'll, I'll get to something you can do to maintain your water heater. But first, let's analyze a couple of problems you might have. If you have no hot water, <laughs> obviously a problem. Oh, yes, very right. much so, right this time of year especially. Right. So, you know, people ask me, I have no hot water, you know, what should I do? Well, my first question is, you know, do you have electric or gas? If you have electric, you know, it's going to be, go check your breaker, see if you flip the breaker. Right. Um, then the next thing is the elements. Uh, electric water heaters have two elements, and sometimes those can burn out. Or if you have partial hot water, but not as hot as it should be, more than likely one of your elements is burned out, but the other one is okay. But there's a way to call me on or email me, I'll tell you how to figure that out. Um, but let's go back. If it's gas, well, has your pilot gone out? Yes. Uh, <laughs> um, you're going to have to relight the pilot, and sometimes they go out. And either way, also check, whether it's electric or gas, check to see what the uh, thermostat on the unit is set for. Um, a lot of times when people go on vacation, they set them back to a real conservative uh, thing. Or you go to a vacation home, you know, and you take that first shower and you're like, woohoo, it's nippy. Um, chances are you need to turn it up and it's going to take a little while for it to heat up. So, um, let's go to another problem. Have you ever experienced the rotten smell coming when you turn the water on? <laughs> or just when you turn the water on, not other <laughs> other situations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Usually that's another toilet discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. go. Let's stick with the water. Uh, you've seen some of my pictures on Facebook. So anyway, <laughs> a rotten smell more often than not is an each all water heaters have an anode rod in the um, water heater itself, and the anode rod it's a sacrificial anode rod. It's a metal rod that goes down into the water heater. And the purpose of this is to prevent rust. And without it getting too complicated, it has to do with electrons. <laughs> and okay. yeah, and if you've got this rod in there, what happens is all the corrosion will happen on the rod instead of your water heater. It makes your water heater last longer. But when these things go bad, um, or you know they're just used up, so to speak, then you're going to get that sulfur smell coming through your water. Hmm. So nine times out of ten, when you get that rotten egg smell. Um, you need to replace the anode rod in your uh, water heater. Now, sometimes you can get a, a rotten smell if the water just hasn't been turned on in a long time because the bacteria, you know. Um, so run it a little bit and see if it stops. But if not, it's uh, usually the anode rod. Now, if you get a rotten smell coming from your drain or your waistline, what that is doesn't have to do with the water heater. All drains, Paul, have a P-track. Right. And if the water, for one reason or another, has been drained out of that P-trap, and it can happen a couple of ways. If you haven't used that drain in forever, like there's a shower you just don't use, that water will dry up, and all of a sudden you'll get a sulfur smell. You just need to run some water and get it back in that P-trap. But what I've also seen, Paul, is a normal vent gets clogged with leaves or something like that. So when you flush the toilet, run a lot of water down, it has to pull in air, and you'll hear a drain gurgling. You ever had that happen? When something drains in the house, other drains gurgle. So what it's doing is pulling air from there, which it's sucking the water out of the P-trap. So you've got to unclog the main vent.